From the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Happy Monday, everybody. It is student meteorologist Carolyn Castor here with your CNET forecast. We have some broken rain showers moving through our area, but it's just light rain, if anything. Some snow showers embedded, especially in the higher elevations, but there is some sunshine as well as the clouds are broken. Zooming out a little bit, that's due to a low pressure system up to our north circulating through, just giving us some broken showers, like I mentioned. High pressure is off towards our southwest, so that should be moving through in the near future, drying things out for us for the near future. There's another chance of rain coming up, but I'll talk about that a little bit later. The big storm is how cold it is. It's much colder than average. It's going to stay that way for the rest of the week. We're sitting at 46 degrees at Beaver Stadium right now, um, and it's much below average here. Feels like 44. The winds are coming out of the south at five miles per hour, so it's not a strong in-state college, but that doesn't mean it couldn't be a little gustier in other areas of Pennsylvania. Looking at the temperatures, everyone is below average for the state of Pennsylvania right now. Some areas like Erie, only 41 degrees. Franklin as well, sitting at 41. And then out towards the south, East, they're warmer, almost scraping 60, but that's still below average for them this time of year. How much below average? Well, the departure from average ranges from around 10 to 15, even 21 degrees colder than what they should be in Franklin, Pittsburgh, 20 degrees colder than what their average temperature should be this date in April. So it's going to be a cold one. This pattern shift has made things much different than what we experienced last week with the warmer, sunnier temperatures. But luckily, a good majority of the country is also feeling this way, all the way down to Dallas, Texas. They are also below average temperature-wise for this time of year. I mentioned the wind gusts a little bit earlier. State College, not that strong right now, but out in Johnstown, they're sitting at 17 mile per hour winds. Could be a little gustier in some areas, but that wind is going to make it feel a little bit colder. So I mentioned some rain. Those were those spotty showers that moved through. There's another chance for that on Wednesday, hit or miss showers, but then we should dry out by Thursday. But again, temperatures are going to be colder than average this time of year. So tonight we're going to get down to 30 degrees. There is a freeze warning and or frost advisory from the National Weather Service issued for a lot of counties in Pennsylvania for tonight. So be sure to cover up any sensitive plants and turn on your heat honestly it's going to be a chilly one tonight overnight and then tomorrow we're going to only get up to 56 degrees conditions are going to be mostly cloudy outside so another cooler day winds are going to be five to ten miles per hour out of the southeast and then your seven day forecast tuesday has that chance for broken rain so does wednesday but then we'll be mostly sunny on thursday before showers return again on friday and saturday